Congratulations on the purchase of your brand new Aviator S8 or S8X. Here at Out and About Healthcare, we believe in empowering people on their journey to independence with the latest in mobility innovation. Thank you for joining the Out and About family. The assembly instructions in this video are suitable for both the Aviator S8 and the Aviator S8X. For basket assembly details, or if you have purchased a canopy, rear basket, or other accessory, please refer to our accessory assembly video. The link will be in the description below. Now that you have your brand new aviator, it's time to open it. We recommend cutting the sides of the box to make getting your aviator out easier. Remove the seat. Remove any remaining packaging from the scooter. We recommend driving your scooter off the pallet. Please note the lip as you drag your scooter off. To attach your seat, line the bottom up with the mount and slide it in. To attach your headrest, slide the bars into the headrest points. The height can be adjusted by pushing the button and positioning the headrest. Your armrest will also need to be adjusted. Lift the armrest up and roll the adjustment dial left to increase the angle. Your mirrors will need to be screwed in near the control panel. Your aviator is now ready to drive. To charge your scooter, connect the cable to the battery box. Your charging port is located underneath the tiller near the key. Buy the charging port open and plug in the XLR charger. We recommend purchasing an outlet surge protector for your scooter. This will help protect your scooter from damage in the event of a sudden surge of power. Plug the charger into a standard wall outlet. Your battery has an LED indicator to monitor the progress of your charge. If it's flashing green, the power is on but not charging your scooter. Orange is charging your scooter and green means your aviator is fully charged. We recommend charging your scooter overnight after daily use. Do not let your battery drop to zero. It is important to keep an eye on your battery indicator as it is a visual representation of your charge. On six bars, your battery is well charged. On four, start considering charging. On two, you have low charge and will need to charge your scooter. Your aviator has a digital control panel which has indicator buttons, horn, a hazard light switch, headlights, a high low speed switch and mode and set buttons. The icons on the side of the screen show you what you have selected and will light up when in use. Your display panel displays the temperature, clock, odometer, trip meter, speedometer, and battery gauge. Press mode to toggle between these options on the screen. To adjust the settings, hold the mode and set button simultaneously. Press the set button to adjust the hour time. Press the mode button to move to the minutes. When you are finished, hold the set and mode button simultaneously for two seconds. Use the same method to toggle between kilometers an hour and miles per hour, and Celsius and Fahrenheit. The Aviator offers a number of comfort adjustments to suit individual needs. As previously seen, the angle of your armrest can be adjusted by turning the adjustment dial. To adjust the height of your headrest, press the button at the bottom and position it to a comfortable height. If you need to bring the tiller closer, push the lever on the tiller down and pull the tiller towards you, releasing at your desired position. To bring your seat forward or move it back, bring the front lever underneath your seat up and position it comfortably before releasing the lever. To adjust your seating angle, pull the seating lever up and push back against the chair to recline your seat, or lean forward to bring it closer.
Your aviator is equipped with an automatic electromagnetic braking system. This means if you release the accelerator, your aviator will automatically slow down to a stop. It features an adjustable seat belt, swivel seat, and double wishbone suspension. To activate free wheel mode on your scooter, locate the black lever at the back of the scooter. Push the lever down to activate free wheel mode. This means you'll be able to push your scooter manually. To take it off, simply push the lever up again. Do not activate free wheel mode while your scooter is on. If you do, you'll need to switch it off and restart it to re-engage the brakes. If an error occurs with your scooter, the warning indicator will flash a certain number of times and present an error message code in the form of a number. This will give you an idea as to what the problem may be. Here's a quick snapshot of the errors. For more detailed information, please refer to the manual or contact your place of purchase. It is important to correctly maintain your scooter to ensure it lasts. We recommend routine checks on your scooter to ensure everything is performing adequately. We recommend checking the condition of your tyres and ensuring your battery is appropriately charged before each use. Every six months, we recommend booking in a routine service for your scooter. This is to replace the motor brushes and ensure your aviator is in optimal driving condition. If you have any questions about your new aviator, be sure to refer to the manual or contact Out and About Healthcare on 1300 366 545.